We're going back to another match preview and Celtic taking on AK Athens in the first leg of the third qualifying round. And then once this is done, it is the playoffs. I do not know who Celtic would play if they won this. Fuck who is it? I don't know, but I guess it would be someone good. <laughs> so there's had to be a fight then, Belly, and after has who has a hamstring strain, but Netcham is fine after an ankle knock. Sumerunovic is available after serving a two man spot by ban. <coughs> so that's um good for him, but overall they are the Greek champions like so I think this is gonna be a difficult one for Celtic like ah uh, I think that especially away in Greece because their fans are fucking mad. Like Olympiacos, Panamviacos, so I wouldn't I wouldn't expect probably not as I don't I'm not an expert on like Greek Greek mythology. No, I'm not an expert on like the Greek league like, but I know those teams are mad, so probably this team would be up there in terms of madness, probably. I guess we'll never know, but they could be. But I'm gonna go with a two one win to Celtic. I think it's gonna be much harder for them though in the the second leg, but I guess I don't really know this team. But if they're beating Olympiacos and Panaviacos uh, the league title, they must be doing something right and therefore must be decent, so that's why I'm going to go with a Celtic win, but I do think at the away leg, like they beat, well they beat Galatasaray 3-2 like, so I mean, they can't be too bad cannot be too bad who the fuck's that? Nicholas Holt, well he's, he's relishing the prospect of experiencing, experiencing Celtic Park's famous atmosphere. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below. 2-1. Um, match previews for us, Marbor, and who the hell's play? Molde. There we go. We'll be uploaded tomorrow. As long as that, as la oh, along with this review. Fuck me, I cannot get my words out today. But anyway, till next time. Peace.